Also in the news at 10 o'clock, after losing her firefighter husband just days ago, a Henderson woman is voicing a plea to the community. Her message, get the protection that could have saved her husband's life. Fox News Maddie White shares her story. Just about a month ago, I was speaking with local parents on Facebook to get their thoughts on the mask mandate when this Henderson woman reached out to me, Christina Lowe, and she said, I am 100% considering pulling my kids from their school. They are absolutely should not be forced to wear masks all day long. She and her husband were firmly against the vaccine. Well, I just heard from Christina again, and sadly, this time her messaging was very different. It's horrible thinking of my children having to grow up without their father now. Mike Lowe, firefighter of 15 years, gone after contracting COVID-19. I thought it was a political game and I didn't think it could happen to us. Leaving behind his proud and loving wife, Christina, and two young boys who were his world. He loved taking them fishing. Um, he loved to take them to all the fun places around town, Calabunga Bay. The tragic ordeal happened just in the last two weeks. He died over the weekend when COVID caused pneumonia and the need for kidney dialysis. He's not gonna be there for birthdays and holidays and He's not going to be there when they graduate, when they get married, when they have kids. He's going to miss out on all of that. Um, so it's going to take time for them to fully understand. She says their views on the virus changed completely. Now newly vaccinated herself. That pain in my arm was not anything compared to the pain that I felt of losing my husband. Christina's not allowing his death to be in vain, just as Mike did in his firefighting career. She's working to save lives by speaking out on any public platform possible. He bravely served our community, and how can our community honor his legacy? By getting vaccinated, by wearing your masks. I understand that some of you believe that this is political, and it might be, it could be political. I don't know that it's not, but I do know that because of that decision of my husband believing it was political is why he did not want to wear a mask. That is why he did not want to get vaccinated. He didn't trust him, but it cost him his life. A GoFundMe link has been set up to support Mike's family during this difficult time. If you're interested in donating to that, you can visit the link on our website, fox5vegas.com. I'm Addie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Mike was only 38 years old. Christina says that since she shared her story on social media, a number of people have reached out saying it did convince them to get the shot.